Well, this is the end result of my washer clog. Got a kid's sock that was backed up by a poker chip from Steiner's. Uh, it's been about two years since I've been in that bar, so, you know, that was my golf chip. But I'm going to take this hose up there and there and there. This is the Samsung S5 washing machine. It's a pretty new model. It's only about two years old. So, as you can see, uh, it hooks up right in here. You've got three clamps. One here, one here, and one here to redo. One, two, and three. And as soon as that's back on, we are at business and stuff those on there put the rings back down make sure all three are properly secured and that'll be all right i looked up a couple of these videos the only thing they showed me was the uh front option of getting things out which in the case of the poker chip the, uh, the ring was far too small to let the poker chip out way down here so it made its way through this part and got jammed right here and then had a sock clogged up in here so at this point it's just a matter of getting your clamps back into place nice and easy and then you got to tighten down the bolt on this ring this guy right here give me a second I'll switch over my wrench and get back in here it's kind of a pain in the butt put it in a very worthless position to start out with so best off to uh, go finger tight as much as possible first make sure that, that seal is in place the clamp I mean, so that it does seal properly that way next time you do the next load not dropping water all over the place. Like my place has a lot of carpet, so the last thing I can afford is an overflow. I don't want to pay somebody to come in and clean the carpets. Tell it's nice and tight around there. I'm sure, I'm probably good at this point. It's getting a little. There we go. That's enough. All right. Check for security on all three. And we're in business. took this off just because I didn't quite know what I was doing yet but I knew I needed to get down in here and when I couldn't I just tipped it all the way back I needed it against the wall make sure it's secure while you're doing that seems to be a 10 millimeter wrench is what takes care of the entire problem for the most part as well as a Phillips screwdriver as you can see I took my drainage hose 
latched it to the side just so that um, it wouldn't dump water all over the place. I'm going to take it off of here. But at this point, just make sure these guys drop in properly. Give it a little push. Make sure you drop it down so that it latches at the bottom as well. And then we just a little pop up. Make sure your screw hole is aligned. and slow I gotta reconnect our water here make sure you have hot to hot and cold to cold I don't know which order I put these in so Make sure your gaskets didn't fall out either. As long as you've got the black gasket in there, you're doing okay. Shouldn't leak anywhere. Probably recommend a little bit of a wrench tightened down with this. We've got some vice grips laying around. Those usually do the trick. Take our drainage hose back off since it was resting there. And we'll drop it right back down in the hole. Generally, I have a zip tie to here, but I ran out of zip ties, so that's the way it goes. Plug back in. Then I'm going to hop out. Alright, now that we got everything back in place, this is the model I just worked on. Like I said, it's only about two years old. Generally speaking, your problem is going to start right here. A little lefty loosey, righty tighty, counterclockwise. This is where the problem um, really started, but it was all the way inside there. Generally, you can reach right in, grab those socks or whatever's in there. Unfortunately, I had a poker chip. You can see there's a little notch right up there. You want to make sure when you put this in, this is aligned with that notch. Because otherwise, you're never going to get this to close. So if you can fix the problem from here, great. If not, you're going to have to go from the bottom like I did, which was a complete mess. I had water dumping out of here everywhere, and it stinks. So that's the end of that. Good luck. Hope it helped.